Well, hello, Cornerstone family. It's been a little while since I've come to you via video, but wanted to take a few minutes while I have just literally, I think, a few minutes before the sun goes down. And I think it's just begun to rain. As I, as I came out here, it has been a frosty, cold uh, winter's week so far. It's Thursday afternoon. And as you guys know, on, I guess it was Sunday night, maybe into Monday, no, all day Monday, it snowed here, which um, I think if that's a sign of things to come, we've got a cold uh, winter ahead of us. But as I come to you tonight, I want to just give you two brief uh, updates. So one is about us as the Sheridan family. You have uh, been so faithful to pray for us, to contact us, and even uh, a couple months ago, uh, showered us with all kinds of gifts. I want to just give a blanket thank you to the entirety of the congregation through this video to say you met all of our needs and needs we didn't even know we had. Like, I think we've got more things for this baby than we've had for any of our children so far. So if that's any indication of what's to come, she is going to be spoiled rotten, thanks to all of you. But we're super, super grateful that... Um, you have shown to us just how much you love us, not merely in words, but in tangible deeds. And so thank you for all the ways that you've cared for us. And, and even today, I've had several of you contact me and ask if we need anything. And, and that means the world. So thank you for loving us so well. I also want you to know that Christy is getting close to delivery. Believe it or not, we are at 36 weeks. Um, and that's usually about the time where uh, Christy begins to experience uh, contractions in a pregnancy and her body begins to get prepared for delivery. And that is indeed happening. Uh, last night, she was uh, up most of the night with contractions, which meant I was up most of the night with contractions. So <laughs> together, both of us uh, timing them and getting prepared and uh, saw her doctor today and she has begun uh, dilation. So we would anticipate uh, that sometime within the next couple of weeks to see um, our baby girl. And so we wanted to let you know that we do believe delivery is uh, forthcoming here pretty soon. And so continue to pray for us, continue to pray for Christy's health and for baby girl's health. Again, everything looks really good on her front and uh, we're still uh, holding out a lot of hope that she'll be healthy when, uh, when she arrives. And so we'll keep you posted as as news comes forward. The second thing I want to note is concerning our own uh, community, uh, Cornerstone, and as well as our Franklin broader community. Uh, last uh, Sunday, uh, Ben Griffith announced that we would be uh, canceling the next two weeks of Sunday school, as well as uh, uh, pressing pause on moving forward with our women's Christmas party. We've done the same with our youth Christmas party. And we are scaling back all of our in-person ministries for December for that very uh, purpose. We want to be careful um, as the virus numbers have increased significantly. And that is true both within our community, but it's also been representative in our body as a congregation. And thankfully, uh, we have not uh, seen through tracing its spread within our congregation through our in-person ministries, but we've had um, a good number of people within our congregation who have been um, uh, diagnosed positively with COVID-19. And gratefully, there have been only a few cases that have gotten a little more with regards to symptoms uh, most of all of our cases have been uh, very, very mild, and so we're really grateful for that. Also want you to know our sister churches around us are, are also experiencing that. Be praying for them. Um, even our dear uh, grandmother church, Christ Community, lost one of their ruling elders to COVID-19 just a couple of weeks ago. Dear John Giffen, which many of uh, you probably know and love. I know many of our leaders uh, know and love him. He was a huge supporter of us purchasing the downtown chapel from Christ Community uh, back in uh, 2012. And so John is just has been a beloved brother. He has been a cheerleader for me and the ministry of Cornerstone since the beginning. And um, simply want you to know as a congregation, we've got um, our grandmother church grieving with the loss of a member from uh, COVID-19. So these are, these are very real things that we're trying to pay close attention to, to not overreact one way or another, but wisely and reasonably put in safety measures and 
uh, be careful about second tier and third tier gatherings uh, that are in more close proximity um, to, to keep from the spread of the virus in our midst. So thank you for continuing to be patient uh, with this process, for bearing with us as we strive uh, to both uh, protect the physical health, but also nurture the spiritual health of the congregation during this season. Um, we also are so grateful for your prayers for Mike Finema. You heard us pray last Sunday regarding his uh, bicycle accident. He was on a mountain bike with his boys and with some others and had a terrible bike accident and um, had a major uh, fracture in his spine that led to surgery. And we are grateful right now that the reports that we're getting from Stephanie, his wife, have been encouraging and that Mike is, uh, though in a lot of pain and has been struggling in the hospital, um, there are some signs of growth and uh, movement and feeling in areas of his body where he was not uh, moving and feeling. And so we praise the Lord for that. Please keep the Finemas, both Mike and Stephanie, in prayer. As many of you uh, know, this uh, COVID-19 and many realities uh, surrounding 2020 have affected deeply our church plants, and Spring Hill Presbyterian Church was no, no different. In fact, I'm saddened to report, though many of you already know, uh, that they will be closing their doors. Even this coming Sunday will be the final worship service of Spring Hill Presbyterian. And so Mike and Stephanie were walking through that, through uh, this season of COVID-19 on heels of what they are experiencing now with the suffering of this accident from Mike. And so a lot on their plate that they're walking to. Let's keep loving them well and serving them well uh, during this season. Uh, we'll talk more about these things, keep you up to date as much as we can in the days to come. There's more I want to say, but I think as you can see, I am I'm out of daylight. Hopefully you can see this video, hope you can hear this video. Love you all. We'll be in touch with you again soon. Hope to see many of you on Sunday for our second Sunday of Advent. God bless you all. Have a great evening in the Lord.